Hey, welcome back to the lecture. So in this lecture, let's understand about the data validity. So remember that the data on the SDA line must be stable during the high period of the clock. The high or low state of the data line can only change when the clock signal on the SCL is low. So this is one of the important thing you have to remember. So for example, if you take a look into this waveform, this is SCL and this is SDA. Now you can see that the data is stable. So when the clock is high. So data is only changing. This is a change of data. So change means either from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0. That change should happen only when the clock is low. So in I2C, the data should not change when the clock is high. So when the clock is high, the data must be stable. So, but this is not applicable for start and stop conditions. So that's why any transition which happens when the clock is high is detected as either start or stop condition. So that's how the data transition and a start and stop transition is differentiated in I2C. You should remember that the data change will happen only when the clock is low. So that's why if you go and take a look into this trace once again, and you can see that this is a data transition, right? So this is a data transition from low to high. And look here when it is happening. It is happening only when the clock is low, right? So you can see that nowhere in this trace data change is happening when the clock is high. For example, let's consider this transition. So this transition is from high to low, isn't it? And that is happening when the clock is low. So that's why the data transition on the SDA line happens only when the clock is low. You should remember this. And the exception is start and stop conditions. So start and stop condition transition happen only when the clock is high. So that's how data transition and signaling transition that is start and stop are differentiated. All right, so that's a uh, important concept of the I2C and I would suggest you to remember this diagram. So this diagram is very, very important and this is one of the important um, interview question. So because most of the time the interviewer will ask you to draw the waveform of the I2C signaling and in that case if you write this much then it is really good because this is a very beautiful waveform which says that the data line must be stable whenever SCL is high and data is allowed to change only when the clock is low. So the data validity is decided only when the clock is high. Great. And in the next lecture, let's address some cases of master writing data to the slave and master reading data from the slave. And let's see how we can achieve that in the I2C protocol. And I'll see you in the next lecture.